everyone. Today we disassembled some of the containers, uh, including the cucumber plants and some other plants at various locations, including Mega Farm, the Buy It, and as well as the Lou Fruit Mint. We took out the, the stakes, we took out the debris of the plants, took out the covers, put them in compost bins and bags, and we, uh, we took them to the, the compost area at the fire station just on Clark Street. So we're out in front of our outdoor classroom here at the Compost Learning Hub. And one of the things we really want to be able to educate and share with people is that anyone can compost. If you have a big backyard, maybe you want to put in a three bin composter. It takes up a little bit more space, but you can shift the compost over in stages. If you've got a balcony and that's all the outdoor space you, you have, you can have maybe a rolling compost or a tumbler. If you have just the indoor space, you can do vermicomposting. That's where you take a handful of worms, you put them in a small bin, and then you feed them regularly with some of your food scraps from the kitchen. So it's really an accessible thing for everyone to do. Everyone eats food and always has some sort of kitchen scraps that they can use to put back into that composting system and put back into the ground. So we're just returning what we might have taken from the ground when we were growing food. And since we run so many community gardens and this demonstration site, one thing that we're trying to really emphasize is being able to uh, cycle everything and, and keep things uh, within that sort of circular economy. So we're growing food, but there are certain parts of the food that we might compost. So that creates this rich material that we're able to put back into the garden once it's broken down into you know, a beautiful compost. And that material will provide nutrients for the food that we eventually grow again. So it's this beautiful cycle that uh, we really want to emphasize. And there's no waste that comes out of our growing practices in that way. So with compost, what we really want is to have a good balance of our nitrogen and our carbon materials. So our nitrogen being more green materials like our food scraps um, and even some of the green uh, maybe waste plants, and then our carbon and brown materials being more of our leaves, maybe some straw, um, some wood chips, those types of things, uh, even paper, cardboard, newspaper, that, that kind of thing that will mix in and create this beautiful ratio of um, nutritious material in our compost.